It's really sad that I have just come to expect this to happen every few months for absolutely no reason. But TikTok took down another one of my lives this morning. What was I doing? The question we all want answered, including myself, because what I was literally doing was putting on concealer, um, wearing this tank top, maybe that's what I did wrong, uh, wearing this tank top and um, saying almost nothing really just literally just putting on concealer i am convinced honestly that for certain people they will just keep doing this for absolutely no reason other than to just discourage discourage from being on the platform i think i really do think so um because there was abs i was not even talking about anything Really, I was just chilling, drinking coffee. That's it. This is so frustrating because live streaming for TikTokers like me is one stream of revenue. And that's an entire week of revenue that I'm going to miss out on. And they fucking know that. And they know they just want to hit you where it fucking hurts. But you know what? It's fucking fine. Because you know what? The last time they banned my live, I did a video about Prince Harry and Meghan, and that shit went fucking viral. So if things work out the way that it did last time, then maybe God just has another viral video in store for me coming up. Who the fuck knows? I don't know. But I am fucking sick and tired of this, especially when there are so many predators domestic abusers, racists, just bullies in general, awful, awful people that continue to have a growing platform on that fucking app and seem to be able to just be untouchable. Absolutely untouchable. I love that I can't wear a tank top sometimes, but the amount of videos I've seen of white girls twerking with their ass full, just full out, with millions of views, no community guideline violation cited, is very interesting and it's so fucking, it's hard to ignore. It's hard to ignore and it's really hard to not get fucking angry when you have to tiptoe around absolutely everything you do and you see shit like people just doing whatever the fuck they want and apparently it's okay when they do it, but not when you do it. It's very frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. Um, mm, I love playing the game like what did you do wrong this time as if I don't play that with myself every single day already um, so I won't be back on live stream until uh, May 14th um, so whatever I'll still be producing content on that shit app because that's where most of my followership is and there will be content on here as well and on Instagram and on Twitter and honestly I'm just trying to siphon people over to my other um social media since they want to play these fucking games I'm like okay well um why don't you help blow up my Twitter or something or Instagram so go follow me on my Instagram and Twitter and whatever and obviously you're probably already following me here so that's cool but um my god and I feel like I just literally saw this happen to another creator of color a few days ago for absolutely no reason. Something very similar. It just keeps happening. And now they're not even telling you. Like, now they're not even telling you what you did. It just says you violated community guidelines. And they don't tell you exactly what you did. Yeah, they don't tell you exactly what you did so that you can at least try to not do that thing again anymore they keep it vague obviously so that they can keep on harassing you like this and keep on telling you that you're doing something wrong and you don't know what it is and so you live in fear and you try to guess what it is that you did wrong and I imagine that in trying to guess what you did wrong a lot of people will end up just not talking about certain topics not wearing certain things basically silencing and diminishing themselves um, I'm very familiar with this uh, because it has been done to me in person on a much, much, 
more serious level. And so I'm pretty sure that is the tactic here and it's disgusting. But, um, but you know what? Um, as frustrating as this is and as much as I kind of cried a little, this is not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. So whatever, fuck you, TikTok. Suck my balls. Keep your one week ban. Keep your one week ban. Maybe I should wear a full hazmat suit next time I live stream. Just a full chem gear get up so that none of my skin is showing. <laughs> none of my skin is showing. None of my face. Just that's what I'm, maybe that's what I'll have to do. I just might. I just fucking might to be petty. I don't have any chem gear. But I do have some very bulky clothes from when I was in the military. Some cold weather gear. So maybe I will just button up like fucking Ralphie from A Christmas Story the next time I do a fucking live stream because that's the only way I can be acceptable 100% on live stream and, and not be in jeopardy of getting my live taken down and having yet another revenue stream disrupted. This is frustrating. This is mm. this is routinely done to creators of color on TikTok. This is routinely done to creators that just speak about social justice in general, no matter what color they are, even white creators. I have a TikTok peer, Chelsea Hardeme, that has been going through it um, in a similar way, like even more. Um, it's <sighs> the only reason I'm still on that fucking platform is because all my fans are there because that's where my million point one point one million followers are. Oh gosh. I can't wait till I don't, I can't wait till I don't need that fucking app anymore. I can't wait. I can't wait to outgrow it. I really can't. Well, I'm gonna go get my fairy tale tattoo. Fuck this shit.